It's game day here in sold out San Francisco at Levi Stadium. Both teams look primed to kill each other for our entertainment. <laughs> and I am getting visibly excited just thinking about what's to come. You know what I call your visible excitement, Grim? A San Francisco treat. Bricks, do me a favor. Don't make eye contact with me for the rest of the game. I'm a little uncomfortable now. This game is going to be a wholesale slaughter. No discounts in the MFL. The team stormed the field. The Motor City Maniacs battle. The San Francisco 40 Nightmares. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. I'm a Yo, man, nobody can touch me when I ball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. What you talking about? It's time to tune in, turn on, and drop what you're doing. Because NFL game day is on the air. Hi, everyone. Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. So what's the game plan for the home team today, Bricks? Uh, I think they got to keep it simple. A little cough syrup? Maybe smoke a little untidy pod pregame so they can keep their heads in the game. I mean, literally. You don't want to get decapitated on the opening kickoff. I say go after the rest early and often. No mercy. The ground game should be their bread and butter. A gain of eight right there. Hey, anyone seen that Korean kid yet with my barbecue? Last time I ordered Korean, I got Kim Jong Il. Second down and two. First and ten. He was stuffed at the line of scrimmage. So is that cheerleader. Second down and ten. Sure, now he catches it. I had this guy on my fantasy team last. You gotta be fucking kidding me. If that's a penalty, they should come up here and penalize us too. Hey, don't give these refs any ideas, you idiot. Brent, hide the stash. On it. Second down and long. And they've had enough. The offense jumps on sides and attacks the ref. Second down in a mile. And the passing game picking up some steam, a gain of seven there. Third down and the QB is saying his prayers. Chunks of yards now. Nice reception for 10 yards. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. Oh, no good. Now that punter's going to... And he just lets that one go. He says, no, thank you. And the defense downs it. And it's first and 10. Oh! And the defense jumps outside. And then on sportsmanlike play of the day, brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service, located just off the Beltway, exit five. <laughs> and it's first and ten. And how about a little dirt sandwich? <laughs> a 
Second down in a very lot. Third down and, well, good luck. I hope you covered your ears, Bricks, because that was a sonic blast dirty, and he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Uh, I don't think you can say that, Grim. See that, oh, little baby? My. I'm the greatest. No, you didn't see that because I'm too fast. <laughs> And it's first and ten. That, my friends, was an all-pro NFL hit. Second down and nine. Ouch! What is this, 80s wrestling? And that'll bring up third and one. Oh, he goes boom to the moon. Another loser bites the dust. In the NFL, winning is really about how much you want it, Bricks. Well, he clearly didn't want to live as much as the other guy. That's a good point, Grim. And it's first and ten. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when they're not yawn. Second down and more than the QB would like. And that's perfect coverage. Nice deflection. Third down and long. a big hit. Hey, Bricks, I bet you took a lot of shots like that over your career. Ah, uh, let's see. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. I'm surprised no one uses the electric carving knife anymore. <laughs> First down and one. And into the end zone with a burst of speed. I think he's warming down this guy at a speed feed grip. He's running from his team. It's clear. Yeah, you think you can go toe-to-toe -to -toe with me? Well, you mistaken, man. You get up my grill, I'm going to ruin your world. I'm going to wreck it. Well, a little chip shot here, extra point, but this guy could blow it. The kick is good! And as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. like a moose right now. And it's first and ten. Well, it looks like he wanted to run before he caught it. You gotta keep your eye on the ball. Come on, you dirtbag. You gotta make that catch. Second down and ten. hit 
That's the end of the first quarter, and it's still anyone's game. Oh, oh, could it be mine? Third down and five. Well, one yard is better than nothing, but not by much. Man, these guys have metal balls. They're going to try to pick up the first down here. Do they jingle when they run? They and he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop it. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go. He's unstoppable. Touchdown! And he rumbles that one into the end zone. Nicely done. I can't run like that unless it's Cooper. And they line up for the extra point. It's good. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Like he just saw 400 scary movies after that hit. It sounds like my off season. Second down and five. Nicely done for a first down. <laughs> and it's first and ten. It was a risky throw and the defense made him pay. Man, what a hit that was. Hey, man, nobody can touch you with eyeball. I take all you mutants out. That's right. Hey, what you talking about? Wow. And it's first and ten. He refuses to go down. A good run for five yards. Hey, didn't move the change of score, did it? How good can it be? Second down and five. Up maybe a deuce at most. Uh, speaking of deuces, I got a. Uh, <clears throat> hey, you got a dollar for the bathroom attendant? He threatened me if I didn't tip him next time. Ooh, hope he's got a good chiropractor. And out comes the most underrated position in football, the mighty punter. And he got it off. That's a decent punt. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. If there were any functioning brain cells before that hit, they're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabag after that hit. And it's first and ten. Second down in a very lot. And that was a huge run right there. Hey, speaking of huge runs, 
Rex Munch put a cork in that gravy maker of yours, huh? Yeah, he's I'm dying up here. Third and four. Footsteps and took his eye off the ball. What a pick ahead. Get the ball, asshole. Hey, asshole, up here. Talking to you. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. They just let that one drop and play it safe, and the defense says, We'll take it. And it's first and ten. Time. Like a jack in the box, Bricks. You never know when one of those hot potatoes is gonna blow. You just crap your pants, Junior. And it's first and ten. This is your brain, and this is your brain on Bricks. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path, and the body toll continues to climb. Good point. The offense lost another quarterback on the previous play and have only two left before they have to forfeit. Yeah, but on the bright side, Wim, they save a ton of money by not having to pay those guys anymore. I don't think the funeral expenses that is. And here comes the extra point attempt. Straight through the uprights. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He's going to be able to run this one back. I wonder if the kicker was setting up an easy kill. First and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. And that's how you run the football. A pickup of seven on the play. Wim, why is it that more mentally disturbed clock? And they quickly call a timeout to stop the clock. Second and three. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot Oh, great tackle. When his brain is unscrambled, he'll be thinking about that hit. Yeah, most likely. They've got one more timeout left, but they've stopped the clock. Why don't they just take the batteries out of the clock, Grim? That would make more sense. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. Oh, and the quarterback threads the needle for a first down. Timeouts are kind of like condoms, you know, Grim? You got to use them smart if you want to score. Let's see if they did. The offense changes the pace by going into a hurry-up. Does that mean the defense gets into a hurry-up, too? Grim, can I kill him? And that was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. The kick is good. Man, as expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. The teams are lined up for the kickoff. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. And it's 
First and ten. That run is good for nine yards. First time out under two minutes. The chess game has begun. It's like chess only. It can kill people. And that'll bring up second and one. First down! And this guy is a stud, Bricks. They're telling me! Nice run! They used their second time out, but they are running out of time. A bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Ah. Oh, and he breaks free and has nothing but open field in front of him. And it's first and ten. And that's the last time out. They can't stop the clock anymore. Can any of us really stop the clock, Grim? I mean, when it comes right down to it, are we not all united by the constant reminder of our own mortality? Of death's constant, relentless advance? If only it was as easy as telling them, time out. And it's good! You know, Grim, in this league where murder and bribery are cheered, it's good. It's a close battle as the quarter ends. Halftime is brought to you by those caring folks at Monsatan Industries. They make the world a better place by making the government tell you it is. We're at the start of the third quarter in a nail-biter. The teams line up for the second half kickoff. Hey, you see that move, baby? No, you didn't. You know why? I'm too fast for you. I'm the greatest. The greatest, I tell you. <laughs> Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and, uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. was just starting to pick up some speed. Hey, Grim, I know a guy if that's what you're after. Second down and six. That's the way to move the chains. That's good for a first down. This game is all about momentum and killing. And it's first and ten. That's a four-yard gain. Second down and six. And the defense goes for the jugular. And, and in some leagues, you aren't even allowed to touch the QB. In the NFL, the offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. He might consider running the ball more. Second down and six. Offense says it's time to put the ref out of his misery. Second down and four. Oh, what a punch! 
can hit that one. And that's how you make a guy remember your name and your shoe size. Because he just walked all over him. Third and two. And that's a pass that went nowhere. Oh, that's like me at the hotel bar every night. Hey, maybe you need a better opening line than you want to see the teeth thrown out of the roof of my mouth. What? The book How to Pick Up Girls and Tell Them Something You Need to Watch Yourself. That's unique. And he runs into the end zone for a touchdown. Don't want to make any mistakes here. It's a jailbreak, and the defense jumps offside to kill the ref. Ho oh, ho! Crowd's loving it. <laughs> and here comes the extra point attempt. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. First and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Eight. Murphy Brown! What? I mean, first down! What the hell was that? I, uh, I honestly don't know, Grim. Eight. Ooh, that hit's gonna shave a few days off his life. And it's first and ten. Pow! And how about a little dirt sandwich? First and two. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Second down and four. Perfect pass and a score! for one when you can go for two. It's always been my philosophy, but Bricks can't even get one. Oh, you talk no one was going to stop him. That's two points. When skeletons make it to the end zone in one piece, that's always cause for celebration. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if the defense can hold them. And that's a returnable ball. Returnable? You mean he can get a refund for it? No, no, Bricks. It means he can return it for... You know what? Never mind. And it's first and ten. Pow! With the brain scrambler! Second down and ten. And the quarterback drills one in for the first down. And 
And it's first and ten. First down. Give this guy a few catches and watch his confidence take off. He is deadly in the open field, Bricks. <laughs> Second down and more than the QB would like. Ten yard pick up there. Normally a first down, but here he's just making up ground. Yeah, like the way the commission makes up news. That's the end of the third quarter. This game is going to come down to the wire. Third down and five. And the quarterback, oh, great throw, great catch, and that puts six points on the board. The defense could do anything to stop a throw that good, man. You mean aside from bribing the ref, killing the quarterback, or actually playing some D? Well, this shouldn't be easy, but with kickers, you never know. Straight through the uprights. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. First and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot eight. The offense is pretty much unstoppable when they use their beast boost injection. Close your eyes, Bricks. This is going to get ugly fast. <laughs> and a hard run there picks up the first down. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Oh, he just got crushed. And that'll bring up second and one. Hot, hot one, hot. And he punched his way out of that tackle. And into the end zone for a touchdown. Once he got his hands on that pass, he was off to the races. Well, this should be an easy chip shot extra point, but you never know with kickers. <laughs> it goes right through. Yeah, like a double stop burrito from Taco Hell. The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five. And it's first and ten. about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. If my parole officer calls, I was with you last night, Bricks. No problem. I spent the night in lockup for solicitation. And that'll be second down and four. Oh, and he 
Sting just left an outline on the ground like he was trying to wipe out the dinosaurs. Must be opposite day because he's the one who just got wiped out. And it's first and ten. here or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. The kick is good. As expected, those are pretty much just gimmies. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. First and ten. Hot one, hot two. You know this berserk dirty trick ain't fair to the QB. It's like inviting a hand eater. He's leaving a wake of destruction in his path. Oh, with the brain scrambler. Say what? Come on, man. You can't hang with me. You get my grill, I'm gonna ruin your world. You understand me? First and ten. The defensive players go berserk. They've been known. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. The offense lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Do us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. Second down and five. Hot. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And the ball razors through the defense, cutting a defender in half. That means you can wrap up the other. And it was a perfect pass, and he scores handily. Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. The best kind of kick is when it's right after a score. Hey, speak for yourself. I'm usually the one who gets kicked after scoring. Oh, and that one's gonna hurt. He may not be able to comprehend math after that hit. What's math? Exactly. And it's first and ten. He is fighting for every yard. He blasts it and picks up seven yards right there. Second and three. Sends him to the ground with an exclamation point. And a well-placed cleat. And the two-minute warning sounds. There's not much time left at all. And it's first and ten. That 
that's the way to keep the chains moving. That was beautiful. Now why are they stopping the clock for the offense, Grim? They're stopping it for their own offense. They're hungry for the ball, partner. The ball? The pigskin? Bacon. I'm hungry for bacon. Maybe the QB should throw it and catch it, too. Second down and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. At this point, they're going to have to get the ball back by any means necessary. Or wasting two timeouts on the defense is really going to bite them in the ass. Third and four. And he scores! Okay, nice and easy like a two-foot putt. You miss two-foot putts all the time, Grim. It's good. The home crowd isn't impressed with that showing, but their team has a chance to respond. Crusher right there, folks. When in a hurry-up offense, the offense needs to run out of bounds or take a timeout to stop the clock. And that is caught for a first down. And it's first and ten. And they are out of timeout. The clock just became their greatest enemy. Really? The clock? The clock, Grim? I can smell your clock that's not a great enemy we're not talking about waking up in the crack of noon we're talking about the mfl you moron and he just slipped away and he held on to that one for a first down first and eight to go he had it for a second there The offense goes into their two-minute drill. What the hell is that? It's the same thing as a hurry-up offense, you moron. I am so good. And that pass is good for about five yards. The offense has only one quarterback left. If he dies, it's game over. Yeah, this new QB, he don't even look too confident. He's bleeding with the coach on the sidelines about something. Yeah, he's telling his coach to punt. What a pussy. And the offense goes into their two-minute drill. Which coincidence? And the 40 nightmares go down. I wish my wife would go down once in a while, Grim. That's funny. I never had that problem with your wife, Bricks. They battled hard but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I don't want any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Dijon mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Not bad living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow with Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every